Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. We're so grateful that you're watching this video. And after the whirlwind of the last few weeks, we've had Rio really unwell, we were away before that, and then we had the epic gender reveal. Three, two, one! Yeah, we just thought we'd do like a little vlog, catch you up on life and let you know what's going on. Me and Rio are going to gymnastics class, so it's his first class back in a little while. He likes it. Let's just say, it's not like his favorite thing, but I think it's really good for him to be in that environment with other kids and build up his confidence and do your flips and your rolls. So we're going to gymnastics this morning and I'm hoping he's gonna have fun. He's also developed tantrums. He's hit 18 months, which is exactly when this is meant to happen. And he just has these tantrums and they're full on. So I'm really hoping he doesn't have one in the class. If he does, if you do, it's fine. You let your anger out, honey. It's fine to be angry. Stuart, my darling. You wanna just say, just say, come and hang over the balcony and say hello to everyone. Do I look like I'm a next model? I was trying to be, like, trying to just a bit more softly today. I'm going to a next press event. Oh. Yeah, you look great. You look I like... used to love the next sales. You used to love the next sales. Do you remember? We used to have to go to next, like, on quick boxing, on boxing day. Like, no... I was like, me and my mum, 4 a.m. on boxing day, would be outside queuing for the next sales. So That's this, is a big, this is a big moment for me. I want to make yeah. sure that I make a good impression. <laughs> well, have a lovely time. We'll and we'll catch up with you uh, when you come back home. I love you. Bye. Bye. We're going in the car. Please don't scream. He's got a bread roll that my mum made him, so I'm really hoping that he doesn't scream. Oh, we're going on a little, oh, he just threw the bread roll. He doesn't love getting in the car seat. He's thrown his bread roll. Smile, smile. We'll put baby shark on in the car. Wish me good luck. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. We're just waiting for a car park in space. Putting the tunes on. By the way, do you like my sunglasses? Then you. I absolutely am obsessed. Yes. Who knew this? Baba Blue Sheep, Baba Pink Sheep. This is the modern day version. <laughs> Hello, my darlings. So, gymnastics was all good. He actually quite enjoyed the class and I rushed back home because basically the class is on the cusp of him needing his nap and lunch. Plowed him with some snacks on the way home in the car so he didn't fall asleep. Came to give him some lunch, he threw an absolute temper tantrum. I chatted to my friends who I met in the class and they were like, yeah, my son does it too, my daughter does it too. So I was like, okay, it's just, it's just something he's going through. I just don't like anger. It's like an emotion, I don't really, I mean, like, we all get angry, but I don't really enjoy it. <laughs> so, <sighs> tests me but it's all part of parenting. Now, actually, I've got a therapy call, so I will go to a therapy session every Thursday. I've actually been going to therapy now for three years. It's been the best thing I have ever done. I started in the middle of 2020. That was such a funky time for so many of us, and it was a funky time for me. Yeah, it's completely transformed the way I feel, how I view things, how I deal with things. Like, I was just thinking about Rio and his anger and I feel like rather than coming at it with loads of emotion I'm able to kind of observe the moment and like okay what's best for him what's what how do I feel and just kind of be in touch with my feelings and I just don't think I was in touch with my feelings so yeah that's one thing it's really helped me with so if you've never been to therapy I would highly recommend it there's loads of different options out there you can if you can do it do it but yeah, now he's gonna sleep, I do therapy, and then hopefully Stuart will be back later, and then we can have a proper catch-up on life. Catch-up on the fact that we're having a girl. Ooh, we gotta start thinking about names. Anyway, we'll chat more about that later. Both my dog and my son have an obsession, have an obsession with, with food, and they both hang by the cupboard and just like, well, at least Dolly is like, like, yeah, she's just, just like scratch, 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 and then just stays, stays there. there. Whereas Rio like screams that he wants 
food. How was your next this morning? Next was so good. I was telling them all about my obsession when I used to be young with my mum. I was part of that obsession. I came with you one You came day. with me. Did you, yeah. did you, you didn't enjoy it as much as me though. Well, it was part of like getting to the Armfield clan and kind of be accepted by your mum. Yeah. <laughs> was make sure I go to the next there. What's he begging for now? These are some rolls that my mum made They're yesterday. They're so good. Oh, well, I'll just give him one. Happy? Are you hopping now? There she is. What do you want, Dolly? Wait, also waiting by the cupboard. I saw Gary and Nicker today. I should have got a photo, but I didn't. <laughs> it's always awkward when you go and you see a celebrity and you're like, oh, can I get a photo? Because I'm like, I'm kind of a celebrity myself. Oh, <laughs> shut up. So Stuart's decided on the topic of clothes that he wants to sort our wardrobe out. Yeah, I just feel like I've got loads of dead clothes. So we're going to sort our wardrobe out, which I don't really want to do because I it's know... Like spring cleaning, you know? We spring can cleaning. Add that but I don't really want to do it because Stuart starts things and then he doesn't finish them and then I have to deal with the end result. So oh, you're committing cool. to sort them and get rid of them and that's what you're going to do basically. Yeah. And he's I just want us to have a fresh wardrobe, ready for the next, the, a new year, for a new us. I agree. I agree. Have we got any butter so I can put some of these little yeah, chocolate yeah. sprinkles on? Because we have been invited to an epic event this year, and we can't reveal yet what that is. Oh God, but oh it. my gosh, I'm excited. So we do need some amazing outfits, and we've got lots of clothes in there that we could probably make work. Although Stuart will probably want something There fresh. is no way I'm going to rehash something. <laughs> yeah, it's something no, I've not seen yet. Not for this event. <laughs> not for this year. Also, can we appreciate this weather? It, I mean, it's, it's still cold outside, but look at the sun. Like, summer is here. Ugh. Where is it? Look at this. Here we go. This is yours. Spring clean commences. Yes, I'm, I'm happy to get rid of that. I won't wear that. Uh, Ill-fitting. Ill-fitting. This is the thing. I think it's the shirts in the biggest chuck out. Yeah. It's st oh because it's just every Look how many shirts there are. I know. It's just, but but, but it's like is, years of collection. This is years. Like, we haven't done a chuck out for years. Oh, yeah. well, love those pajamas. So we've got all these wardrobes to sort through. How exciting. Are you going to be okay with us? <laughs> How do you feel on a scale of 1 to 10? <laughs> right now it's okay. Oh my god, that is so 90s. Yeah, oh my god. That's why I try and be a businessman. Oh my goodness, we're two minutes in and these are all the, the shirts that we are going to donate and let them have another life. So what's your reasoning? Why don't you like all these shirts? They're just ill-fitting now. And yeah. we've had the, like, some of these shirts I've had since like 10 years. I yeah. just, I've never done a chuck out, so this is our, my first yeah. shirt chuck out. Because they're not ripped or stained. Yeah. They're folded up in a bag. Yeah. And they're like that. Why is it so. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Say bye bye. Bye. Oh, good boy. Rio, say bye. <laughs> so let's talk about Piccadilly Circus because what an experience that was. <laughs> Tell them, Rio, how good it was. <laughs> it was incredible. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so now we are on to the jumpers. So one thing that I would love to do from, from now on, we've been hanging up our jumpers and I find that when you hang up your jumpers, it just stretches them. So I want them to be folded from now on. Okay. So I'm taking all the jumpers out and I'm going to fold them. Yeah, we've got hundreds, as you can probably hear now, hundreds of hangers. So let's talk all things baby gender reveal because that was really such an amazing day. It really was. It was just one of my favourite days ever. So if you're wondering, why do they have two gender reveals? So basically we had this gender reveal planned, which was gonna be in our back garden, and we've got everything sorted for it. And then Samsung messaged us and said, we're doing this thing where we're basically taking a photo of you and putting you up on the screen. Basically my dream come true, because yeah. I've always said that. We even had a video of us walking down Piccadilly Circus and holding hands and looking at the board. And I said to you in that video, oh, I wanna be up on there one day. You said you don't remember. Story of my life, you don't remember anything. 
And we asked some of our followers to come down. People actually came. I know. That was the that shot. That was the biggest thing. Because when we went, when we were walking towards the screen, I was like, I don't know if anyone's going to yeah, be Yeah, is anyone going to come up? Yeah. Our manager, Lily, was with us as well. And I was feeling a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> no one She handled that here. situation so well. She was, uh, oh, she's just absolutely insane. <laughs> Francis, is this a keeper? I love that shirt. This yeah. jumper. I like that one too. I want to give you an update on my progress. I'm still going, which you'll be pleased to know because France is doubting whether I would be able to keep continuing. We've done the shirts, which look grey. The t-shirts and the light jumpers. We've done the trousers and the blazers. And we've done the shoes and we've done the jackets. So, so far, so good. We've, I've got one more section in this bedroom to do. We've chucked out loads let me show you what is the shirts light jumpers t-shirts we definitely need more t-shirts because we are bare in the t-shirt section we've got trousers we've got blazers we've got more in the other room as well shoes and jumpsuits the next thing we need to tackle is this our trousers and our shorts but it feels much nicer to have a less space with that's just like rammed. Jumpers here, they're gonna go in the other room. And then tidying up the last little bits, which I'm really not good at, so that's a Francis job because I can't stand the, the, the last dregs. <laughs> It's day two of this vlog and day two of sorting this house where we're gonna get loads of sorting done. I worked really hard yesterday too. I'm probably gonna get like loads of beef on here going Stuart. <laughs> just left it, which I didn't. I just, I get really overwhelmed by this small details of where to put things. That is just not my bag whatsoever. I did, I sorted out all of the clothes. Wait, wait, you didn't do the trousers? I didn't do the trousers. I didn't want to do that without you because most, we've got this pile, which is, this is ridiculous, of black jeans that Fran, they're basically all Francis's. Are they? That he never wears. I only have two pairs of black jeans and the rest are yours. And I never ever see you wear black jeans. <laughs> Look what he's wearing today. <laughs> I think the fashion's changed now because back in the day, most of our jeans were like tight jeans. And I feel like it just shows your age. If you wear tight jeans right now, it shows that you are Old. older. Clinging onto, an old. Clinging onto an old style. And I feel like now it's about being a bag baggier. My dad would have been great in this style because he hated tight jeans, didn't he? Okay guys, we've got one clear dressing room. How wonderful. This is all clear. It's all clear. Have lovely. Well done, everyone. Evil name, so it's got that sort of old worldy feel to it, but with Winnie being so popular and this idea of kind of almost gender neutral names with the thread at the end, it's so perfect and would really, really suit a modern little girl. This links perfectly to the segment where we talk about baby girl names. Yeah, so I thought we could end this vlog after we've tidied our wardrobe, which feels so much better. It's Sunday morning, so you're seeing us literally today, on the day of upload. <laughs> we filmed so this nice. over like four days. <laughs> Rio's personality is just like shining through right now. I was worried after you got ill and then you started having temper tantrums. I was like, oh, is this, oh is this the God, new Rio? This is new Rio face no, now. He's, yeah, he's been having temper tantrums. But I've been assured by so many of you on TikTok and Instagram that your babies are all going through the same thing. You guys can help us actually on how to pick a baby girl name. So these are, this is our brief. The brief is, we would like it to be. I would like it to be a short name. I would like it to be a, like just really nice letters, a really, 
a really fun name, a modern name, yeah. a cool name. Yeah. I want her to be like really cool, just like Rio basically. A possible name that could like go with Rio, so we've got like yeah. Rio so and... A double R is a potential that always potentially yeah. could sound good. But yeah, modern, short, we're going to stick with having no middle name. So yeah. Rio doesn't have a middle name because it's got a double barrel surname. And it's such a long one. I get annoyed just writing it. <laughs> I was just saying, like, I have a middle name, but I never, never say my middle name. And then when you get, do like a legal document or an important document, you're never sure whether to put all your names. And that's the only time you use it. John. So what isn't it name? better that you've got a double barrel surname that you always have to write and a one name? Yeah. My, my second name is John. What's yours? Henry. I do like the name Henry. I know. Henry Haugen would have been a really yeah, good Henry name. Yeah, Henry would be a great name. I don't know. I wanted you to be Armfield Haugen. Which is what you are. A combination, oh, of, a combination of both of both us. I think you're beautiful. <laughs> I like the name Stormy. Stormy. I like the name Paris. I love like the name Paris, but we don't want to have Rio in Paris. <laughs> I love the name Paris. Yeah, I really like Paris. I like the name... I like the name Rizzo. Rizzo. But I don't... I feel like it's too edgy. Rizzo. 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 No one's called Rizzo, apart from in Greece. Rizzo. <laughs> I like the fact that if it would be a name, no one is called. I, I quite like the name, like, the, 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 like Sassy. No. No, that, that's not the actual name, but a name that is Sassy. Oh, I thought you meant... Okay, yeah. Roxy. I'm not sure Roxy's right. I'm not, it's not saying that if your name's Roxy, that you haven't got a nice name, but... I love the name Ruby, but our best friend's called Ruby. Yeah, and I love best friend's kids called Ruby. The idea is that we're going to call them Rio and River. But... Which basically means the same thing. Same thing. But River, my brother's son is called River, so we can't use River, because that would cause family outrage. <laughs> rain, do you like them Rain? As in R-E-I-G-N, like Rain, like the reign of a king. No. And I quite like the name Lily as well. I don't know anyone that's called the same name. So that's your that's the brief. Can you help us? I put in the comments below. Let us know your suggestions. Also, to end this vlog, Rio has started to like put little kind of sounds. Oh, let's of words see if we can together. get him to do it. Let's see if we can get him to do it. Rio, can you say thank you, Daddy? Say hello, horses. <laughs> say hello, horses. Hello, <laughs> Daddy. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. We love you so much. Please subscribe. Yeah, good boy. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>